silver cow. Okay, now, I really don't have to introduce this man, but this is Doug Sosa. And uh, I am pronouncing that right, right? Sosa, right. S O U S A, yeah. Good to have you here, Herbers. Thank you for being Thank you for letting us be here, first of all. It's our pleasure, believe me. It's my pleasure to be here with you and my crew. Okay, and enough this of the love is fest. 10, yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is our 10th anniversary. Yep, we're really, uh, in some ways, you wonder uh, what it took to make it. In other ways, it just seems so easy. But we're great. We have a 10th year anniversary, our celebration, and uh, it's going great. We're packed. Awesome. Listen, I look forward to seeing you out there on the floor, and I'll get you again, brother. All right, great. Thanks, Thanks for being here, Herman. <laughs> Quay Bog Riders Motorcycle Club is a hill climbing club. Now, a lot of people like hill climbing. As a matter of fact, it's so popular, it started in Laconia, and it turned into what Laconia is today. And uh, these people compete all over the country. Uh, today, we're here to honor someone that couldn't make it for the first time in the 10 years of this show, Mickey Young. Mickey Young is in the hospital right now, recovering from some serious injuries that he had... Uh, he unfortunately acquired last July, 2014, climbing a hill, caught a stroke at the top of the hill, came down, and broke almost everything inside of his body. He's recovering. He's going to see this. We're going to make sure he gets his own personal copy. Mickey, God bless you. I spoke to you the other day on the phone. You sounded awesome. We're here with some of his friends who want to send him a personal message from his club. 
My name is Justin Lindy, and uh, I just want to say hi, Mickey, and uh, hope to see you next time I see you at your house. Sorry, a couple weeks ago at the hospital, and uh, you look great, you sound great every time I call and talk to you, and can't wait to be back out on the hill riding with you again. Awesome. And this young lady here? Hi. Is that all you want to say, honey, is hi? That's all right. That's okay. And another friend of uh, Mickey Young. What would you like to say? How you doing, Mick? Nice seeing you again. Hope to, hope to see you at the next hill climb. Awesome. Now, uh, just to let you know, folks, it takes an awful lot to do what these people do. It takes an awful lot of cherries to do what these people do. I have to watch what I say because there are children around and children watch our videos. But most people that ride motorcycles would not have the cherries to do what these people do. All right. Mickey, I love you, brother. I love you like a brother. I look forward to seeing you coming home. Get well, brother. We'll see you quickly. We'll see you soon. God bless you. Well, my name is Ray Robitaille. Back in 05, I, I could afford a Harley Davidson, but my dream was coming to all these shows and shows around the U.S. That inspired me to do little by little by little to my motorcycle. From 05 till now, nine and a half years, it's got to where I actually want it. This is my dream. This is my dream right here. And this is it. What you see is what you get. Now tell me, did, what did you do here? Now, is this something that you put together personally? Is personally, this something you, yes. you, you ordered? It? I, ordered, I ordered it brand new in 05. Yep. When I got it, I took it apart and I started putting different parts back on the bike. It's originally an 06 Fat Boy. I just call it my custom Fat Boy right now. And I started getting different parts chromed. I started from the rear end and I worked my way forward. And that's it. That's it? That's it. <laughs> That's that is it. it. That's it. That's a beautiful bike, brother. Thank you. I want to thank, you, thank you for taking the time. And uh, we're going uh, to dispense of the speaking part of this, and we're going to get some shots of this beautiful bike, all right? Help yourself. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. I don't think I have to introduce this guy right here standing to my left, but I'm gone anyway. World famous, world renowned bike builder, the king of flames, Dave Perowitz. Now Dave's got a new project going on here with some, uh, I guess he's going to design his own seats and stuff. We're going to let him tell us about his Mustang seats. Brother, how you been? Good, Hermes. How you been? Good, Good to brother. see you. Tell us about what you're doing now. Well, I'm here with Mustang seats. Uh, 
You know, Mustang has been uh, a company that's been around forever. They're local to New England. Actually, they're right up the street in Palmer, Mass. And uh, I've gotten together with them to design some custom seats. Uh, of course, the bagger industry is the biggest thing going right now. So we wanted to do a seat that really looked cool on a bagger, uh, was comfortable and very stylish. Uh, we've come up with that. Uh, the seats are really doing well, uh, very comfortable and uh, bolt right on. You know, guys are always looking to make their baggers a little cool. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's happening. They're a great company to work with. Let me ask you this now. I've talked to you a few times on camera before, and I, and I, I think one of my most memorable times speaking with you was on, actually we were sitting on a yacht at a place called the Nazwa, yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, and you were judging a bikini contest. Now, yeah. I don't know if you've had the opportunity to see that video, but it's on my YouTube page. And uh, I did get a message from the girls back then yeah. about the video. They loved it. And, and I don't know if you've seen it, but if you haven't, I'm going to encourage you to take a look at it. It's a, it's a quick video. It came out mint. And uh, tell us, give us some contact information for yourself and also for Mustang Seeds. Uh, well, we've moved. We're in Halifax, Massachusetts now. Oh, you are? Yeah, we only moved two miles down the street from our Bridgewater location. We uh, uh, moved to a smaller location. It's, uh, it's uh, a, lot, a lot better. I like it. Uh, we're still doing bike nights, uh, third Wednesday of the month, uh, June, July, and August. We're going to have a big open house the first weekend in May. On a Saturday, we'll do a bike blessing. Uh, a little, uh, uh, it'll be an event. It'll be a get together. We'll have a band. We'll have food, and get your bike blessed for the season. And uh, come on down and see us. See us in our new location. And uh, Mustang seats. Uh, you can go on their website. Just uh, punch in Mustang. They're in Palmer, Mass. You can get a seat through them, or you could get it through me. Either way, but uh, we're easy to find. Brother, you don't stop, do you? You just can't <laughs> stop. Now, let me ask you this, all right? Would you welcome myself and Kenny and our crew to come down here for your bike blessing and your big event in May? I'd be honored if you guys came down and hung out with us for the day. Awesome. My brother, it's great seeing you again. Well, it's good to see I'm you. I'm going to catch up with you a little later. I'm going to do some other things around the show. I'm only spending one day here to, uh, this weekend. Yeah, I had as some bags. I am. As, oh, this is your fight? This, this is it? This is it, yep. Oh, awesome. Yep. I hit yep. the lottery. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah we both yeah. did. Yeah. I, okay. Well, listen, brother, you take care of yourself. And by the way, my hellos to your daughter, Jody. How's she doing? Jody is doing great. She left today to go to Italy. She's doing a big show in Verona, Italy next week. And uh, she's uh, traveling around Europe a little bit. And uh, she's doing great. We're building a new race bike. She wants to set some more <laughs> records. And uh, we're moving along. Awesome. Well, listen, take care of yourself. I'll catch up to you before I leave here today. Thank you for taking the time. I know everybody here wants to talk to you, so we're going to let them get to you. Thank you very much, Dave. Okay, thank you. Awesome. You used to love waving at airplanes And snowy white winter days You're watching birds fly in your backyard And your my as you play No, you want to look at this handsome young man right there at the camera. the camera. You want to look at that beautiful woman, you can look at that. Well, I can look at her. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You can look at the beautiful woman if you'd like. Anyway, listen, this gentleman here has been here 10 years doing this. I've only been here six years. Springfield Motorcycle Show, 2015, number 10. This man goes all over the country doing wood carvings. Now, initially, I thought this was the only wood carving he was ever working on, but it's not. He's done several, and he's in a museum at Sturgis, and I'm going to let him tell you the rest of the story about him being placed at the museum of Sturgis. Hermes, we're live here at Springfield Motorcycle Show. I've been on this project since 2002. This is my ninth year in the Springfield Motorcycle Show. This is exciting. This is plain wild. I'm so blessed with being here, meeting all you people again, rock and roll. I mean, we're just having plain fun. But this, this wood carving has been with me for a while. Uh, 
it's been on a lot of trails. It's met a lot of experiences, a lot of people, a lot of adventures. I just can't wait for tomorrow. Ooh, I hear that it, it, it's, it's pretty bizarre to be up, to be endorsed as I am by the, the Motorcycle Museum to set up there and the Chamber of Commerce and all that happens out there in Sturgis. It's very special. Well, I'll tell you what. For those of you that didn't know what I was talking about when I was being filmed with him just a little while ago, we didn't have the sound on. I was telling him that he put the second largest smile on my face today. And that is very important to me because I've been laid up in the hospital for several months. You don't want to hear the story. It's boring. I got a big scar on my back. But you know, sometimes, just sometimes, when you feel like the day isn't going good enough, you run into people like my friend here. And today, he put the second biggest smile on my face, and that's important to me. Isn't that what I was telling you earlier? Yeah, well, it wasn't, wasn't that hard to do, right? <laughs> I love you, brother. Thank yeah, you for doing what you do. Everything's good in Springfield. Everybody, come on up in Springfield. If not this year, come on by next year. We'll be here. This is, the, this is Doug Seuss's 10-year anniversary. I made him a pretty cake over here. I don't know if you'll get a piece, Hermes, but... We're going to get a shot of it, and I'm going to make sure... When is the cake cutting? Is it, is it uh, a scheduled time? I guess, I guess tomorrow. Tomorrow? Closing ceremony. If sort. I might have to find my way into that cake before I leave here today, but I won't. All right. Hey, Hermes, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank Rock you. God. Thank you for being here. God bless you, my brother. Thank you. thank you. This gentleman standing here with me right now, Don has been part of this show, I don't know, I think since its inception. I know that I've been coming here for six years and I don't think I've, I don't think I've missed you once. I think, uh, have you been here since no. the show started? Yeah, I've been here quite a while and uh, you know, Doug uh, runs a great show here and he's always making sure that uh, he's got a space for me. You know, love this place, love the people. You know, great area out here, definitely. It is a great area. Now let me, let me get some information for the people that, have, people have seen this on my, on my television okay. show and on YouTube. But I want you to tell us in your words what inspired you to do what you did with this with this this whole contraption that by the way is not just a contraption. I like this. This is artwork. Outstanding, thank you. Well, I told my son, I says, you know, I've always liked sidecars and I wanted to get one uh, and uh, when I turned a hundred, if I couldn't hold a bike up anymore, then I'd be able to put the sidecar in. And he says, What the hell are you trying to do? Look like Hogan's heroes? I says, No, not at all. And I says, I love this. Once you, once you put it on, I says, I'm going to get a lot of miles. I got 72,000 miles on it now and uh, from 03. Plus, I work a full-time job, and i just uh, turning 70. So You're turning 70? 70 years old, yep, and I got 72,000 miles. Well, let me tell you something. You look better than I do, <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you how old I am because I'm younger than you are. Yeah, right? you know? So let me tell you. Let me, is there an... Does this person have a name? Sidecar Willie. Sidecar Willie? He's got his own patch. He's got his own patch? He's got his own vest. He's got, I, well, he's got his two dogs. The two dogs. Do they have names? Uh, no, we never give a dog a name yet. You know? oh, okay. So my, okay. my uh, granddaughter is going to have to one of these days. But this guy here, he drives the people in the cars crazy. Yeah. I'll be driving down the road with him, and all of a sudden people are going <laughs> like this, and they're jumping up and down, and they're trying to. Then I'll do, I'll do one of these. I'll whap them upside the head, you know? <laughs> hey, you gotta have fun. You right? have to enjoy yourself in life, and it, it looks do. like you do, I do. all right? Definitely. And I wanna thank you for taking the time out to talk to us. I've seen you here, like I said, six years I've been coming here, so it's a great show. It's a family-oriented show, Absolutely. which is awesome. Well, you know, one and of the other things is that the kids that come by like it, and to have a little kid put a smile on his face is worth it, you know? We don't care about the trophies or anything like that. It's all about the people. And somebody from another area that sees you and says, hey, I remember you back then. That's what makes it worth it, it's like yourself. Well, Don, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for sharing your artwork with us and, uh, and your story with us as well. I'll be back next year.